Hello again and welcome back to Fishing for Memories. Well, it's uh, November time and it's quite a cool day. It's about between 6 and 8 degrees. I'm down on the local river giving it a go for some Bertie Bowl and with any luck, um, if they're not feeding, there'll be some big chub about. Uh, the water levels are pretty high at the moment because we've obviously had all that rain and wind recently, so there's extra debris in the uh, river. Uh, I've got betaine pellets out on my left rod and um, as well on my right rod uh, but I have actually brought with me a plan B um, which is good old cheese paste this is um, mixed with bread to its uh, doughy consistency that's three different types of cheese that's a two year old brie so it's very very strong it um, knock your socks off um, and that's mixed with cheddar, parmesan and bread and in with that I put liquidised hemp which gives it a nice texture, kind of crunchy texture. And on top of that, just to finish it off, I put in a very light amount of uh, powdered garlic, which I find gives it an edge, especially for the old barber. Anyway, uh, just had a tap on my left rod about 10 minutes ago, and that's on the betaine pellet. That's fished just to a gully near, underneath an undercut bank, and um, that tapped a couple of times, very tentative pluck. Not sure if it's a bar or a chub, but um, maybe time will tell. Um, fingers crossed, it's a, if it is a chub, it's a nice fish. Um, but as I say, time will tell. It's just nice to be back out on a very intimate stretch of river. And, um, you know, there's no bad time to go fishing, so I'm really, really, you know, absolutely made up to, you know, be out fishing. And um, it's something that's never left me as a child. Um, I always feel excited as if it's uh, Christmas Eve. And it's just one of those things, uh, hobbies, that if you really do enjoy it and love it, the um, feeling of excitement the day before you're going fishing and planning stuff is absolutely immense. Anyway, enough of me babbling. <laughs> um, I'll um, keep you updated later on if I um, do get anything. And. Um, I'll see you later on. Until then, it's uh, Tight Lines from me and Best of Fishes. Hello again and welcome back to Fishing for Memories. Well, the rain's coming down even harder now. The water's certainly churning up and the depth is picking up. It's going to be going over the bank soon, the river. I decided to pack my right rod up, which had cheese paste on it. I went two minutes doing on that rod. But the left rod, which I've been having getting the, the odd tap on and bleed, actually just tore off as I was packing up my other rod. That was on the betaine pellet. And I'm into the fish and I think to myself, this is a barb, this is a good fish. Really tearing off. And I saw a lovely gold flank come up and it's an absolutely gorgeous common carp with its lovely autumnal colours. Lovely orangey gold, brassy colours. Anyway, I've got it in the net and you'll see the other coming up. I've weighed it, it's a lovely river carp, 16 pound 2 ounce. And as I say, that was on the betaine pellet. And I'm really made up with that. I mean, first session back out on the river. And it's a bit shorter session than I would normally do. And um, a nice £16, 2 ounce common. Anyway, I'll leave you with the video for that. And until I see you next time on our Fishing for Memories, it's tight lines for me and I'd like to wish you the best of fishes. Goodbye. Chunky chap. It's a lovely looking fish. You can't beat a bit of river carp. And that has warmed up a cold, damp November's evening just as I was getting packed up is that not a lovely fish thank you so much let's get it slipped back thank you